as Africans, we need to empower ourselves. We need to help ourselves grow in whatever field we find ourselves in. You empowering someone else could be the deciding factor of that person either progressing in life or regressing. That is why I was so pumped up to talk to the IE group. They are a group of individuals whose goal is to help the youth and adults abroad succeed in whatever they are doing by lending a supporting hand anyhow they can. So let's get straight into the video to have a little conversation with the group's executives, Obert Kitson, Nelly Sapon, and Samuel Duodu, to find out exactly what they do, why they even started this whole thing in the first place. Let's begin. So African Youth Abroad Empowerment um, is a non-government organization um, uh, that was founded last year, September 17th. I think um, tomorrow is just one year oh, wow. uh, we founded this organization. Yeah, yeah. And what we're doing is uh, we're trying to um, bring all the African youth in the, um, in the diaspora together, see how best we can empower educate, educating them and also uh, making sure that they, they are being enriched uh, in the various uh, aspects of what they do. Um, we know there are a lot of challenges that we go through as in African youth in abroad. Um, some of the the, the things to talk about, uh, uh, um, criminal laws and all this. Uh, we see a way of trying to bring them together, educate them on all this, and also see how we can network them and um, make, making sure that they are being enriched. So basically that is what we do as an African youth. So, coming to Nelly, you are also part of... So what is your position in the African Youth Empowerment? I'm the Secretary of African Youth. Well, like, the lawyer in the Secretary. <laughs> like, <laughs> you've got everything going on. So what are the, some of the basic challenges you guys are facing? Because I know there is Corona hanging up there and then what are some of the challenges you guys are going through? And um, yeah. I think during this time, what has been very helpful has been technology. Technology has been a blessing in this life. Okay. And um, so we've been able to still have our meetings, but then we've been having virtual meetings. Okay. And we have done uh, educating people on health, how to take care of themselves during this coronavirus time how to help them advance also and financially in their businesses so that they don't feel left out during this particular period. And um, still organized seminars and workshops. They haven't stopped us at all. We are still running with the goal and our aim and power and rich and educate. Oh, fantastic. And boss, how many people are in the group and how are Ghanaians patronizing this? Oh, it's not just for Ghanaians. Yes, it's African. Yeah. Oh, African. Yeah, African. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, one good thing or what I would say our selling proposition is that we reach out to Africans who are here, who see the need to be empowered. But so we believe in everyone is a leader mm -hmm. and the potential. But it said the potential is brought up. Somebody has to push you up to bring the potential. Okay. So we see this mandate to reach out to them to tell them we can make it. If we are here, we can make it. Okay. So Everything the, needed is here. Oh, okay. So the core focus of the group, um, the organization, is to just empower people doing anything in their in their various lives. Okay. So what inspired you guys to come up with this whole thing? Um, the challenges that we go through. I think um, being an African in the diaspora, uh, there are a lot that you go through, and um, if you are not focused, um, it will just make you shift from what you want to do. So all of these that we, we see and a lot of that we go through uh, empowered us to uh, just to bring our base and also to make sure that uh, we don't lose focus. Okay. So this this will really inspire us. Um, I, I I brought this. Um, once, once a time that I, I called a friend um, and uh, I, I, I overheard some people shouting on one lady, on African lady, and um, the friend told me that um, I think the lady was new at the at the job place, and um, the, you know, being a, a black person or so, right. yeah, and they were trying to just to discourage her. So the lady was like, okay, she's not even going to work again, and like, uh, like hearing all these and the rest. I thought of like, okay, if we are doing good, mm -hmm. as, as uh, my brother said, we are, if we are doing good, I think when we are together, one way one or one the other, when um, she comes among us, you feel like, okay, uh, we can also do it, and like, we can also do it, or she can also do it. Well. Mm -hmm. And so, looking at this, um, I'm not idea like, okay, why don't we bring this up and see how best we can individually, individually uh, help each other. Oh, okay. So that's the that's the goal. So what are some of the success stories you guys have, you know, encountered? Because we were, you were talking about a lady being discouraged mm -hmm. because of you know maybe the language, mm -hmm. 
hair being black in a foreign land and all those stuff. You guys have some kind of um, success stories that, you know, make you guys have big cojones to <laughs> do this type of organization, have this group and all those stuff. Okay. Yes. Um, I think we've done a lot of workshops and seminars. Uh, and uh, it has been Virtually so, or? Um, no, no. Before Corona, what means Okay, you okay. said it's okay. And um, we've, we've, we did um, um, the computer uh, IT thing. We did a coding bootcamp. Boot so we realized that in Germany, a lot of the companies are looking for programmers and developers, and they are paid a lot, actually. Wow. And we realized that people are intelligent and smart. All they need to be is to be educated. Mm -hmm. We said, well, how can we help our people be the best version of themselves in this country so that they are able to amass all the wealth that they can also here? Oh, yeah. So we decided to have a boot camp, a coding boot camp. And during the coding, the coding boot camp, we invited people, anybody who's interested in IT to come. Or even if you are a beginner, you can still come. We taught them how to code, how to build, basically how to build a website, the foundations of how to build a website. And then also in our NGO, a lot of people have started businesses. People who came here and were like, okay, we, are, we don't know, we are done with education. What else can we do? And out of the NGO, by coming and realizing, we have somebody who's done with his PhD mm -hmm. and is an entrepreneur. We have somebody who came here four years ago and has, has his own company. Wow. We decided, okay. When they came in, they saw that people are actually doing things. Mm -hmm. Like you can still be successful in Germany. You don't have to just do menial jobs. That's exactly. good, but then you can also progress. You can go to a different level. Yeah. And we've had a lot of people come and say, Okay, yeah, I'm doing cleaning, but I know for this stage in my life, that's what will help me. What can I do again after this? And now we have somebody who has their own business, helps people in hotels. If you want to find a job in a hotel or you want to do those things. She was a cleaner. And then now she's realized, how can I help other people also have this and then have a centralized space that we can get that? Wow. <laughs> and you guys are really making a difference here. Because if you guys are setting up boot camps for programming and programmers, See, I used to program before, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my son. <laughs> but no, one thing, one thing that I love about IE is, mm. uh, most of the times we don't we don't go outside to print paper. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's within us. Okay. So the boots come like this. Um, the, uh, uh, like program is within us. Mm. That like, just um, all this. Oh, okay. So yeah. who, can, who can join um, yeah, this? You call it IE or IE? I because <laughs> AYE. Okay. <laughs> Is it for only people in Germany or the whole of Europe? It's an American youth in abroad. So in abroad, abroad, okay. Abroad. Oh, okay, fantastic. So I can join. You can join. I haven't gotten any invitation yet. Oh, oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, I think we'll now. now. <laughs> I know. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, very nice. Because it's nice, you know. Sometimes people need help. Real help, not you know. Yesterday we went to a place and the guy was talking about a little bit of discrimination here and there, racism here and there. Okay. Do you guys face these type of problems when it comes to interactions with um, your group is a, in association with the German people? Okay, I, I, because I think you, you guys are only here in Germany. Yeah. 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 Yes, we do. Um, racism is something that has been there to say. Uh, but one thing that I always say is um, uh, from day one that uh, you will not see yourself as, as a visitor, mm -hmm. but you see yourself as, as a citizen, mm -hmm. then the racism, racism thing will just come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one thing that we also promote is like as we are here, we should also look back. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we have to, you know, you can you can be that much successful here. Okay. Yes, the racism thing will one day hit you. You understand? Yeah. So always, when you come here and you learn and you, you get sort of a bit grounding, then you have to always look back and do something back home. I, I love I love Mr. Acorn um, who is mm -hmm. building up something good back home. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. That is our home. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, if you don't want to just encounter all this wisdom thing and the rest and you want to do well, I will just encourage you mm -hmm. that here you are here to learn and to just to get a bit grounding. But don't the day, don't see yourself as a citizen. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you see yourself as a citizen, that is when the, the, the racism thing will hit you. Oh, yeah. Yes, because uh, a German can't be in Ghana and say that I can, I'm, I'm, I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah. 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 yeah, if you do, you are having a Ghanaian passport. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's very true. So, boss, 
What are some of your long-term goals for this organization? Right. Um, let me pick it from the success stories. Okay. One of the success stories is talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Networking is one important thing. Yeah. Now, the first word is African youth empowerment. Okay. The pivot or the emphasis on empowerment, which is two yeah. words. M, the prefix, and the power. So we get giving people the power. And what is power? Power is information. Yeah. Power is knowledge. So we use network to give people information. Okay. People don't know about you, but once they watch I, mm -hmm. they get to know about exactly. your program. Exactly. Now, they get to know that there's a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. When they need something to do with movies, mm -hmm. they can ask for his expertise. Mm -hmm. They can connect them. So this is what is going on. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, if power changes people's life, it applies to what we call racism. Yeah. People become racist if they have the power over you. That but when true. you take the power from them, mm -hmm. they don't have a choice but to control. Oh, yeah. Let me put it this way. If you are the best surgeon mm -hmm. in Berlin or in Germany and you are black, they don't like you. But they have to come to you to be operated on, yeah, exactly. to leave. Yeah. Who has the power? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he must be white. I have the power. So knowledge, because of my skills, but who I am, mm -hmm. they have no choice but to. Exactly. So that is what I see as a power. And that is our long term goal. Mm -hmm. To give people the power, the to power. give Africans the power, to tell them that look, what we are, we are unique and let our uniqueness be our strength. Fantastic. And that is what we are looking at. Fantastic. So we want to network and get many people together because we believe that unity is strength. Mm -hmm. If you have a broom, a stick of broom, mm -hmm. it's easy to break it up. Yeah. But when you have a bundle of it, yeah. it's difficult. difficult. So my strength, your strength, alone, individuals, they can overpower us. Mm -hmm. But when we bring it together, then we are empowered. Exactly. They don't have a choice but to, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. come against <laughs> a force, a unified force, mm -hmm. which is difficult. Mm -hmm. Our voice can be heard mm -hmm. when we are united. We believe we are just like them. But we are human. Mm -hmm. Our blood is the same like their blood. Yeah. Our color might be different, mm -hmm. but we are the same. We are the same people. Yeah, the same people. So that is yeah. you know, our long term goal to make sure we give people the power. Yeah. You want to add it? Something else? Yeah, just to also add to the success again, because we are talking about Texas. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that matters to us, to add to what Obed was saying, is also changing the mentality of our people here because sometimes when we are coming here we come with a certain mentality and making sure that like Dr. Dostu also said that we empower them like you can do any and everything you set your mind to there is nothing impossible here I get that there's racism sometimes but if you are qualified if you have what it takes even when they are racist or do you be able to stand there because you know that you are bringing something to the table exactly. what are you bringing to the table and that's where we want our people to get to, to know that get whichever field you're in if you're a cleaner be the best cleaner in the world if you are a doctor be the best doctor if you're a business owner be the best just be the best so that nobody can talk to you anyhow and if you're able to do that there's nothing we can't do together don't just set up yes yeah yeah so like our last two questions one is the little difficulties you guys are facing in your groups that you wish you had it easier do you have anything like that? Um, yeah, you know, in in, um, in in organization, yes, we yeah. have difficulties. As in, um, you know, we are also like facing the challenge of uh, the the ideology. Okay. Um, I think the um, some of most of them they do have this perception, and you know, to change it is a bit difficult. Difficult. Yes. Yeah. So we're trying our best, mm -hmm. but to just to change the ideology, and I think in some few um, um, years or whatever, like um, in some few to come. Um, you see an African youth here being empowered and we'll be doing great like um, like like your days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all wish that they can can come very soon because exactly. it's very necessary. How can people join? Yeah. Joining we've made it open. Mm -hmm. We are reaching out to everyone. If yeah. you're within Europe and abroad. abroad. Yeah. You know, so yeah. if you are not within the proximity where you can come face to face. Mm -hmm. And now even the corona has taught us that we don't need even to limit ourselves at face to face. Mm -hmm. We can also we have our meetings with yeah. Yeah. and it is working fine. So anybody can join. Everybody. Yeah. What we need is positive mindset. Believe in yourself as the other said. Yeah. That we want a change of mind. 
we've been oppressed mm -hmm. so much and we believe it so much that yeah. now the freedom to do exploits we are not believing it mm -hmm. and that is what we want to make sure we have that yeah. this mindset and mm -hmm. that they can do it Okay, I will say before we wrap this. Okay, okay, okay. Also to add that to that, you can also find us on Instagram. Okay. Because now everybody's on Instagram. Instagram. So you can find us on Instagram, i underscore org. You can also send us an email. We are sure that you put it in the video. Sure, sure, sure. You, you, you give it to us. <laughs> we still will add it. So there check in the video and you, you can follow us on LinkedIn, on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Facebook, any platform that you use, YouTube. We are, we are everywhere. Fantastic. <laughs> so I will to wrap this up. I'll give each of them a chance to you know tell you guys to empower you guys watching right what is power power is information mm -hmm. information which you understand so much and you put the information to use meaning that you apply the information mm -hmm. that is power so we want to say that everybody there's a leader there's a champion in each side mm -hmm. and we want to remind the people that is the whole thing because mm -hmm. it is believed that you are a champion right from there Exactly. Six million people dashed mm -hmm. to one destination, mm -hmm. and guess who won? You are the one who won. I know it's difficult, it's not easy. It's easy when we are talking about it like this, but I know people are going through their own problems and their own issues. Just don't give up. Basically, that's it. Just don't give up. Keep on pushing, keep on forcing. You can do this. You really can. You just need to understand and trust in yourself. So keep on going. You've got this. Fantastic. They're finally boss. Yes, um, I think the little that I'll say, they've, they've said it all, but the little that I'll add it to is, um, it is possible. In life, everything is possible. When you have that mindset that everything is possible in life, you can do more. In, in any area that you find yourself, be the best of all. Try to do hard, push it, and you will achieve a better goal. We are doing it, and it's happening. And so in African youth, I know there are a lot of challenges. You will go through a lot of troubles and discouragement and, and all. But try to push hard. Push hard and you achieve a better goal in the future. Thank you. Well, Abuja, that's it for today. If you are abroad, I will really wish you join African youth. Uh, <laughs> Nelly is always laughing. <laughs> I wish you can join because someone empowered me, someone empowered all of us to be here today. So if you feel empowered today, reach out on Instagram, through their email. You guys have a phone number you can give out or that is. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and then add that. Okay, uh, plus, plus four nine, mm -hmm. uh, one five two one zero five zero five seven eight eight. I repeat it. Um, plus four nine, one five two one zero five zero five. 788. I think you also see it on, uh, on the screen. The screen. Yeah, screen. Yeah. So, yeah, that is it for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope you join and also be empowered like all of us. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for new updates. Adios. <laughs>